So here's the thing. It is it is Jarlena. They are right here. Deidre Hall and Drake Hogerson. I am not sitting between them. They are sitting right here. Deidre is here. And we're celebrating the 54th anniversary of Days. And I first want to ask you, Deidre, this historic time jump that's being done on the show. You've been with the show for a long time and you've seen all these great storylines you've played. How does this stack up kind of with of what they've done in the past? It's the first of its kind. It's innovative. It's um, uh, it's startling in its intensity, and it, it requires bold. that bold, bold. Um, it requires that the audience really commit, show up, and buy in. Yeah. And that's uh, and, and of course, obviously, it meant that for the staff and the crew and the the, the writing team had to really you know roll up their sleeves, uh, and I think it really pays off. Yeah. Pays How did you off. feel about it? Same. I feel with my hands, Michael. <laughs> He's been here too long today. He's been here a long day. But Drake, you know every. But here's the thing: you remember every. You remember storylines and things and things that Deidre and I don't even. Drake is, Drake a keeper is the, the memory. Keeper of the memory. Always, yes. I've had back-to-back -back traumatic brain injuries. I don't remember anything anymore. Well, I don't know about that, Drake. You remember the story. What do you want to know? I want to know what you think of this time show. Well. It, it is bold. It's, it's challenging, and you'll see what I mean as we get a little bit further down the road. But um, but it's it, it's exciting. I know that Ron has like pitched that a couple different times, other places. But uh, boy, NBC, Sony, and Ken got right on board and said, "Let's do it." And it's uh, as you see as we go on this, you're going to see some crazy stuff. But it's just another day in Salem, and everybody buys into it. Now the, the neat thing is the audience can't miss a day because. We're going to go and fill in some blanks. The people are going to, they're going to scratch the head and go, wait a minute, why is, how did that happen? What, what did I miss here? And if you miss a day or the next day, you're going to, you're going to miss it. It's true. You have to watch to keep up so you know the little nuggets yeah, that are happening. So it's a great vehicle in, in that standpoint. And, uh, you know, uh, just so the audience knows, Doc and John are solid through this, though. You know, we are the voice of reason and, and stability. And, uh, and even though sometimes John's not, he's not, kind of a dim bulb, and she's like, hey, honey, wake up. <laughs> Princess Gina, she's back, and she's trying to get her claws into John. Right, and John, you know, hey, she's just a great friend. She's our great friend, Doc. Come on, Doc. Look, it's just Hope Williams Brady. You know, and, she, and she's yeah. like, I think no. Doc's getting pissed. She doesn't believe uh, Gina for a second. She knows exactly what she's up to, exactly what she's after. And you will see Marlena for a long time to come, just sort of like there was a bad smell in the room. Don't want her around. Her don't her man. Like so she gets it, her man. This woman wants her yeah. man. Oh, yeah. 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 Interesting. Now, what's also been happening every time, which I think is interesting, whenever John and Marlena have a wedding anniversary, an anniversary, a wedding, something goes nuts in Salem. Uh, uh, you know, speaking of which, it was nice that uh, they let Deidre introduce, uh, Deidre and John and Marlena introduce uh, the hourglass to Jack yes. to recap the story of, uh, yes. of, the, um, of the situation Marlena was in and how you kept the faith and what will get you through, and the girl's going to live by God if you just do this. And pull out an hourglass. <laughs> and you just turn that sucker over, and you keep turning it over, Jack, an every noon cure. and night. It is a cure, yes. And then the shout-out to Tom and Alice, oh, and yeah. with, with Deidre giving the infamous, or I should say famous. Yeah, well, and as I've said before, we've never heard anybody but Matt Carey say, those words, yeah, and it was sort of woof. I don't, I don't even know. That's, uh, yeah. You know, we lost John Clark, and you and I talked about it a little bit. And I thought you said such such lovely things about him because I know I think Marlena was his therapist when he was on the show, and so many of the legacy, the, the Horton family, so many have passed now. How do you feel about? Because you guys have been on the show long. People identify Days of Our Lives with both of you very strongly. But you see that the, the, that family's passed on. Most of I, I uh, thank you. I do think that uh, Bill and Susan are the matriarch and patriarch. Um, Doug and Julie will, you know, that is the the Horton core, um, and we'll have Christmases at their place, and the Christmas bulbs will be hung, and blah blah blah. Um, but I think that John and Marlena are the stabilizing factor. They're a little um, more current, a little fresher. They have more mishaps, perhaps. They have more adventures. Um, and the audiences still come to rely on them very heavily. 
to be that that inseparable couple, that that um, indefeatable couple that uh, that they they want for their own lives. They want for their parents and their grandparents. Now, Hattie, who I know you love playing, I know she. You like Hattie? <laughs> No, Hattie has no use for you. <laughs> but that's so yeah, fun yeah, when, yeah. They, when Hattie yeah. plays opposite with John. You know what? You know, uh, Hattie had John over a barrel, and she held all the cards. But he, she did provide him with the ability to buy some time that was needed. And so she fulfilled that part of the mission. So he'll be forever indebted. But boy, getting there was like, why I oughta. Great comic relief that the audience needed and you know in, in a really hard storyline but uh but uh, you know hattie hattie comes back she's making a comeback here and now she's um man she's going after roman and you know hattie she takes what she wants <laughs> <laughs> yes so you get these scripts and you must think this is so much fun to play every time oh it's just, i can't believe i get a paycheck for it right it's just uh, it's so much fun so much fun and because i've been playing marlena for 40 years uh, who is very sort of by the book and by the numbers to suddenly cut loose and 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 be as uh, premeditated and as uh, vindictive especially with you as hattie was just great fun well the scenes in the hospital where i knew i was doing him a favor and by gosh i will work that favor ah. You can work that favor. Do yep. you think they're going to turn John into... I'm worried about John and the time jump. Like, eventually down the line, could he become the pawn or the this or the that? You know how he's had all these different incarnations? I think there's uh, there's enough characters on the show that are going to have a, a situation. <laughs> that, uh, that, uh, maybe I've, I've, I've had my last chip. Do you I don't think know. John will figure things out? Is he going to be one of the... No, yeah, there, there comes a time when, you know, it's... Um, yeah, he figures things out. I will say this, it's it's a different arc of story where the men are not riding to the rescue. So, and you'll see that play out, which is, which is, uh, the, the, it's different in, 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 a, in a different, in a positive way. And if you know what I mean, and that goes across the board in this, uh, this arc of story, so... Stay tuned. It's uh, very fulfilling. As we wrap, what are they saying to you out there today? What are the fans still saying to you? What do they think? I love. What do they say to you the most? We haven't had time to. I mean, it's move along, move along, move along, move along. Really sign really, picture. So we haven't had. Time. We had. We, we can't get our teeth into a conversation. No, it's, oh my God! It's so good to see you again. I haven't seen you for 33 years. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> but that says a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. Staying with the show with all the show. those years. Yeah. The great grandmothers, the grandmothers, the mothers, the babies, the four generations that are here, enjoying that hour chapter in our book for an hour a day. We might hear a little more in the at the four o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but I don't know if we will or not. I don't know. I don't know. Ron is here and Ken is here, so everybody's I think is sort of poised to listen today. It's just yeah. so nice that everybody is still emotionally attached to to not only the show but to the character here. Of course. And so and you know and I think what resonates is that. Through thick and thin, through all the hard times, Doc and John are still going to be there for each other, and a lot of that is is not prevalent in a lot of relationships, but it's possible, and and we give that kind of hope. Right. Well, there you have it, the gospel according to Jarlena. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you, Drake. Thank you, Deidre. Happy 54th anniversary, Days of Our Lives, and watch Days of Our Lives weekdays on NBC.